हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम शुभम फ्रॉम लर्नो हब द फ्री लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन स्टडी फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स बायोलॉजी एब्सोल्यूटली फॉर फ्री एट लर्नो हब डॉट कॉम सो देन लेट स्टार्ट So today in this video we are going to start with your ICSE class 9 chapter number 5 5 5 yes the periodic table okay now being a new topic to you we are going to start from the basics and we are going to understand how the periodic table has been developed okay so without wasting much time let's start and let's rock So friends, now before starting with this first topic, which is De Bruyne's triads, let me give a context to you, okay, to understand what all things we are going to study from here right now, okay. So what was the what what do you mean by the context? Okay, I'm just going to tell you a very simple story, okay. After which you would you would relate that what all these scientists were trying to do, okay. So the story was very simple. One day, okay, one fine day, human beings started to discover elements, okay. And once they started to discover the elements, okay, they never stopped. So this this pursuit for the discovery of elements was going on and on and on. But at some point, okay, when few number of elements were discovered, human beings started to scratch their heads and they thought that okay, there should be some arrangement. Okay, we should make some possible arrangement to. place these elements such a in such a way that the study of these elements would be easier for us because we human beings always tend to make the things easy more easy more easy that's where we came in right that's where we come to you okay you are also going, we are also watching this video for easy understanding of the concepts right our motto is also to make learning simplified so same way humans also thought that we want to study all these elements okay whatever number of elements were discovered but in a easy manner okay so now for that they 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 got an idea that we need to arrange these elements in such a manner that their study would be easier and then started the discovery of the how how to arrange the elements then and here he comes de bruyner okay so what he did okay he grouped the elements okay and this group of element is having this group of element is having three elements okay but this group of three elements were special why 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 because they were having similar physical and chemical properties okay now he called this special group of three elements as triads okay and since de bruyner developed this triads so we call it as de bruyner triads very simple now this triads okay he told some special things about this triads okay now let's start to discover but before that have a look over this triad so this is a uh, example of a de bruyner triad lithium sodium and potassium okay this is the example of another means this is another example of a triad calcium strontium barium and then here chlorine bromine iodine okay since so this three triads okay i have taken for for example to you now what interesting thing he told about the triad was the middle element of the triad okay this like suppose sodium or like strontium or like bromine okay this middle element was having atomic weight okay like the here it is 23 okay or here it is 88 okay so it was having atomic weight which is approximately equal to the mean of the atomic weights of other two elements okay now you would say sir 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 just a while give us a minute to understand what you are saying these things are getting a bouncer on us okay don't worry don't worry i am going to tell you i am going to decode this thing to you okay what 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 this statement which was what this de bruyner sir told us is this middle element okay is having the atomic weight okay which is the mean of the atomic weights of the other two elements for this purpose okay let's take this triad as an example so i am taking calcium and barium's atomic weights okay 40 and 137 fine and then i am adding these two atomic weights and then i'm going to divide it by 2 so i'm actually taking the mean of this mean of the atomic weights of the first and the third element okay and this mean of the atomic weights of the first and the third element when i would calculate you would get roughly around 88.5 okay so i'm would i won't waste time in calculating okay it's like 177 divided by 2 it's 18.5 so this 88.5 you can see it is approximately equal to the atomic weight of the middle element 
राइट बिकॉज इट्स एटी एट इयर सो दैट्स द थिंग द ब्राइनर सेड ओके नाउ यू कैन को रिलेट ही सेड दैट मिडल एलिमेंट्स अटोमिक वेट मिडल एलिमेंट्स अटोमिक वेट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू ओके मीन ऑफ द अटोमिक वेट्स ऑफ द अदर टू एलिमेंट्स नाउ वॉट इज दिस What is this? This is the mean of the atomic weights of the other two elements. Okay, mean of the atomic weights of the other two, other two, calcium, barium, calcium, barium. Got it? Okay. Uh, like this only. He also said that this middle element is having the properties which are like in between the other two elements. Okay, intermediate of the other two elements. Okay. Like for example, let me make you understand this. Suppose there is a boy. Okay, in your class. Who is like very naughty, very naughty. Okay, he cannot sit silent for even even for one second. But there is an another boy, okay, in your class, and he is very silent, very silent. Now you would also find a boy, okay, or a child in your class, which is having like properties between these two extremes, right? The the naughty properties and the silent properties. He would be like. he would be naughty at some times and he would remain silent at some times so that's like the middle element of this triad okay the behavior of the middle element is exactly same as like the, that of this example clear got this point now this interesting triad okay which dobriner made okay it had some demerits and now what was the demerit okay the very important demerit was he could not arrange all the known elements at that time okay so whatever elements were known at that time he was not able to arrange them into this triad method which he discovered now this poor guy is crying but don't worry don't cry the next scientist is going to come and he is going to make things okay much more easier who is going to develop the things okay and take the the discovery pattern okay ahead right leading us to the present model of the periodic table now here comes new lands okay so he was a scientist he was like very much into he was having very much enthusiasm for music as well and he gave us the so called law of octaves now let's try to understand what new land tried to convey to us okay so he what he did he slightly modified the way of arranging the elements okay and this modification was like a turning point okay why because he started to arrange the elements okay in their increasing order of their atomic masses okay clear so if an element's atomic mass okay is 1 then he would take an another element having atomic mass 2 and then place ahead of it then the next element which he would place place would have atomic mass Three, right? So in this manner, he started to arrange the elements. Okay, and he he what what he observed was every eighth element, every every eighth element, okay, has the physical and chemical properties similar to that of the first element. Okay, now students tend to skip this line, okay, or like tend to go through this line very quickly. and don't understand the meaning of this line okay or meaning of this concept now let me make you understand okay see when newlands arrange the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses so here see i have a table here okay the elements are like on the first row and then below them there is the atomic weight written okay again elements again atomic weight again elements again atomic weight okay so you can see 7 9 11 12 14 16 19 increasing order of the atomic weight and the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic weights or atomic masses okay now here newland said that if i start from lithium okay so this is one okay then 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the eighth element here the sodium this eighth element would have the properties okay which like like physical and the chemical properties similar to that of the first element similar to that of the first element okay so if i would then if i would start from beryllium and then i would move to the eighth element from beryllium from beryllium okay so second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and the eighth one okay so the, here also the same thing applies okay the magnesium's properties newland found that they were similar to that of the beryllium okay now you tell me which element would have property similar to that of the to that of the aluminium okay to that of the aluminium okay 
try and understand what I'm telling you. I've just slightly twisted the question okay so you you should tell me i'm waiting for your answer okay okay you can comment below i i will definitely check who has answered okay so which element would have the property similar to that of the aluminium aluminium then okay if i would start from boron right the eighth element would be aluminium and here aluminium would have properties similar to that of the boron okay and this continues so carbon's properties are similar to the silicon nitrogen and phosphorus have similar properties oxygen and sulfur have similar properties fluorine and chlorine have similar properties and in the same way here sodium and potassium is having similar properties so this means that lithium sodium and potassium are having similar properties correct correct now can you just can you just recall where have we heard this lithium sodium potassium are having similar properties you were right you were right try to put a little strain on your brain okay just a few minutes ago we have seen that dobriner's triad also had this lithium sodium and potassium and dobriner also said that these are the group of three elements which are having similar physical and chemical properties so i have told you earlier the scientists were developing okay developing from the existing knowledge and trying to renovate it trying to make the discoveries okay trying to find out the things okay trying to improvise the things okay clear so see here the beryllium's properties are similar to that of the magnesium and then the magnesium property here it would also be similar to that of the calcium why because if i would start from magnesium if i would take it as a first element then i would move to calcium it would be eighth element so calcium's properties are similar to that of the magnesium this newland told us right and magnesium properties are similar to the, the, the beryllium so this means that beryllium magnesium and calcium are having similar properties right understood understood the whole context okay fine now let's move on to see the merits of this newland's law of octaves but yes before that a simple very 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 much interesting thing why the law of octaves why the name octaves here okay so i have told you before he was like very much fond of music and if you know music in music the after after the seven notes the eighth note is similar to that of the first note right sa re ga ma pa dha ni this is the seventh note and then again sa right so this logic of the name came from the musical octaves okay octaves of the music clear <coughs> moving to the merits so what was like the thing which newland's method of arrangement was good at okay so newland's method worked very very well for the lighter elements lighter means which were having low atomic masses okay so those elements were till calcium okay okay so till calcium his law worked very well right his law was applicable till calcium this means that but but the second important thing which started from the newland's law of octaves and this thing we are going to continue when we are going to study the modern periodic table is the periodicity okay this so called periodicity term makes many of the students think that oh what is the meaning of this yaar okay they don't get what is periodicity okay it's very simple the, but but you should remember that periodicity was first introduced okay from the newland's law of octaves okay now what is periodicity i will tell you so here periodicity simply means just now i have told you that see after lithium the eighth element from the lithium is sodium having similar properties that of the lithium from sodium if i take sodium as the first element the eighth element is potassium and it is having similar properties that to that of the sodium okay so can you see here after a particular interval of the atomic numbers okay okay from 7 to 19 and after 19 okay after this interval of atomic number okay from 7 to 19 it is like like roughly around 12 atomic mass interval we are getting an element which is having similar properties to that of the the initial element right after after sodium see 23 to 35.5 okay if i would again calculate okay from 23 to 30, 23 to 33 it's like 10 and then 35 is 12 so again after 12 atomic masses again i found an element okay whose properties were same to that of the first one okay so this interval of 12 atomic mass okay it won't remain constant okay it may change later when we are going to study the higher versions of the periodic table but for first time okay don't remember the 12 the 12 atomic mass is repeating don't remember that thing you just 
try to focus that after a particular interval, after a certain interval of atomic mass. Okay, we are getting an element having properties similar to that of the first element. Okay, again after a certain interval, we are again getting an element having properties similar to that of the first element. Okay, so this thing is actually called as periodicity. Periodicity is simply that we were, we are, the periodicity is simply that the elements, okay, we are getting the elements having similar properties after a particular interval of the atomic masses okay or a certain interval of the atomic masses okay now this is called periodicity clear so this term you need to understand you need to correlate with the next models as well okay now let's have a look over the demerits of newland's law of octaves so very much the very first demerit was his law of octaves okay was not was not appearing to be applicable for the elements beyond calcium okay beyond calcium so, which means that simply if i if i talk about the elements beyond calcium suppose like chromium okay so this element was not having the properties similar to its first element okay suppose for example i'm taking chromium as the eighth element so its first element is aluminium you count it on your own you would get it okay so this so 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 after calcium what newland said was if i start from an element okay and then if I reach the eighth element from the particular element, suppose like aluminium, if I start from aluminium, I reach the eighth element from the aluminium, then the eighth element's properties would be similar to that of the first. But this didn't, but this didn't seem to work after calcium because when when we take when we when we take aluminium as the first element and then move on to the eighth element, which is like chromium. But the chromium's properties are not resembling with the aluminium, neither the titanium's properties are resembling with the silicon. Okay and neither the manganese properties are similar with the or resembling with the phosphorus or like same way for iron's properties are also not similar to that of sulfur okay so that eighth element would have properties similar to the, the first element law didn't work after the elements means after after calcium clear so we simply say that this law means the newland's law of octaves was was not working for the heavier elements heavier elements means beyond the calcium clear very simple now this itself explains that the law is not okay obeying or the law is not getting obeyed after calcium so one more one more drawback after the calcium okay newland made while uh, making while making the arrangement for his elements was he placed like two elements in the same position okay so what he followed was giving each element a single position but he only contradicted his way of arranging the elements okay he arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses but he gave each element a single position but now some instances he gave two elements the same position and also what blunder he made was okay we we have figured out that because of his law or whatever he observed that eighth element is having property similar to that of the first element and all those things we we figured out that sodium is the eighth element from lithium and it is resembling with lithium potassium is the eighth element from sodium right right potassium is the eighth element from the sodium and it is resembling so and it is resembling sodium so this means that lithium sodium and potassium are having like similar properties so the elements which are placed down means which are placed below each other they are having similar properties but you can you can have a look over here fluorine chlorine and then in between there is cobalt and nickel and then bromine so here fluorine chlorine and bromine these three are having like same properties or similar properties but this cobalt and nickel was not fitting in between these elements properties okay which means that simply fluorine's properties were resembling with the chlorine or chlorine's properties are similar to that of the fluorine and why because see this is the first element and then this is would this would be the eighth element so newland's law was followed but after chlorine if i would again if i would suppose chlorine as the first element and then i would count ahead i would reach cobalt and nickel as the eighth elements but they were not having properties similar to that of the chlorine so what he did was he again didn't have had a clear look over the arrangement of the elements okay he just placed the elements okay some at some instances by just mere following that they are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses but he himself violated his law okay at some instances while placing the elements and mostly 
after calcium okay not before calcium before calcium he just followed strictly his law but after calcium he only himself violated his law okay first of all by placing two elements in the same position and also by placing those elements okay now this element is also placed with the elements having not having similar properties clear clear about the demerits part now so here new lands okay made some mistakes but we all know that the mistakes would be corrected by the next person next scientists next um, great person who came after new land and brought a revolution in arrangement of the elements okay and nowadays with the periodic table which we are using it's like its contribution the the contribution of the periodic table which we are using today okay the great contribution goes to this scientist which is mendeleev okay and he was the first one to give the first periodic law okay so called periodic law we are going to see what is that periodic law but yes he was the one who gave us the first periodic law and this periodic law changed the way okay we were arranging the elements okay right so let's see what's the periodic law is so his first periodic law simply stated that the properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic weights okay now this thing again would scratch your heads that sir what is the meaning of the periodic function what this entire law means and all those things the same thing which newland slightly tried to convey okay what mendeleev observed was that after a particular interval of atomic weights okay so suppose i am having lithium okay now suppose its atomic weight is x fine so after after a particular interval of atomic weight i found sodium whose atomic weight is y okay but it is having same properties that of the lithium exactly the same properties means almost the same properties and then again after a particular interval of atomic weight again i found potassium okay whose atomic weight was like z suppose and it was also having similar properties to that of the sodium and lithium right and then again i found rubidium okay whose atomic mass would be suppose a okay a number any any means i'm taking i'm let i'm supposing the number as a okay it has some atomic mass but no need to go into that details so after that particular interval from the potassium again rubidium comes and it also has the property same that of the potassium sodium and lithium okay so this trend mendeleev observed for the elements okay so many elements and then he stated this law that the properties of the elements the properties of the elements are like repeating after the particular interval of the atomic weights okay so periodic functions meaning i think you have now understood okay the repetition of the here the periodic function simply means that the properties are being repeated okay after the particular interval of the atomic weights okay so the entire law what it means i have explained you simply the properties of the elements are getting repeated after the particular interval of atomic weights now why i'm stressing here for the atomic weights is you would understand later fine fine so this is the this is actually called as you already know this is actually called as periodicity periodicity also means the same thing okay repetition of the properties after a particular interval of atomic weights correct this only i have explained you in the new lands thing okay from lithium to sodium from sodium to potassium the properties were repeating or the properties were found to be similar after the particular interval that was periodicity here also it is happening the same thing properties are getting repeated okay properties are found to be similar after a particular interval of the atomic weight periodicity correct correct so whatever mendeleev said in his law actually he used the exact same thing to make his periodic table what he did was simply he started to arrange the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses okay so here also he followed the same pattern which newland followed that's why i have told you that newland created like a breakthrough in making the periodic table because newland started to arrange the elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights right so mendeleev also followed the same thing he he also arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights okay but now he arranged them in the form of table okay now the rows the horizontal rows in his table are called as series whereas the vertical columns right you can see here the horizontal rows right this one 
this one fine so these are called as series and the vertical columns okay in his table were called as groups so he also arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights but in the form of table okay in horizontal rows and vertical columns horizontal rows are called as series vertical columns are called as groups so these are the vertical columns group 1 2 3 4 like this fine but 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 he used his law right he used what he said he said that the properties of the elements were found to be like similar after the particular interval of the atomic mass correct so whenever he found an element whose properties were similar to the any of the previous element okay after a particular inter of, interval of the atomic mass he placed that element just below that element okay just below the first element let me let me show you let me demonstrate you how would how he would have placed it okay so for example suppose he started with lithium okay and then he started to arrange the elements in the increasing order of the atomic weights so from lithium then the next higher atomic weight element was beryllium okay then the next element having higher atomic weight than beryllium was boron similarly carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine but when he reached sodium okay which is the next higher atomic weight element okay or then or the element having higher atomic weight than the fluorine okay which would come next is sodium so when he reaches sodium or when he would have reached sodium okay he would have found that the properties of the sodium are matching with the lithium correct so what he did instead of placing sodium here he just placed the sodium below lithium okay and then again he again he placed the element okay having higher atomic weight than the sodium which is magnesium okay next to sodium but now again he found that this element is also having properties similar to beryllium so then it was matching with his arrangement so below beryllium magnesium was placed the next element was aluminium which was having higher atomic weight than the magnesium okay and then again he found that oh aluminium is also having properties similar to that of the boron and it and and he and he placed the element below boron okay so in this manner okay he was arranging the elements fine in the increasing order of the atomic weights but similarly he was taking care of one very much important thing that the elements having similar properties were placed okay in the same column right so how i had told you how he placed sodium below lithium magnesium below beryllium aluminium below boron and the same thing silicon below carbon and this thing continued but again once he comes to chlorine and from chlorine the next higher atomic weight element was potassium okay so he found that the potassium's properties are like similar to that of the lithium and sodium okay so instead of placing potassium just next to the chlorine okay he placed the potassium below sodium fine so in this manner what he did he just not he, he just didn't arrange the element in the increasing order of their atomic weights in the form of table but he made sure that the elements having similar properties were placed in the same vertical column or same group just like this lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium okay or beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium okay these are the elements having similar properties so he made sure that the elements having similar properties should also be placed in the same vertical column or same group clear then so friends now let's move on to see what are the merits of this mendelius periodic table just like the same thing okay we did for new land so here mendelius periodic table have quite a lot of merits okay means means have a quite of lot of weight of their merits i, I mean to say means they are like very important so what mendelius did okay in his periodic table when he was developing the periodic table he left some spaces okay left some gaps okay like this you can see here here he left a gap okay here after silicon okay here he left a gap okay okay don't worry about this candium and titanium just forget about them after aluminium he left a gap after silicon he left a gap okay but what he told by leaving this gap he didn't he didn't he didn't portray these gaps as the flaw in his table instead he portrayed these gaps as a huge 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 success of his periodic table how 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 because he told that i'm leaving these gaps okay try to understand them i'm leaving these gaps but here you would you would later on okay the humans would later on discover some elements okay which can be placed here 
so he left those gaps for the elements which were yet to be discovered and you would say sir it's fine then okay he just left the gaps and told that the elements would be discovered in the future and you place them here not just the same thing he predicted the properties of those elements you can imagine okay those elements were not in existence at the mendeleev's time but still he predicted their properties okay so huge right right so not only the existence but also their properties for example which which two elements okay so he named he also named those elements okay he gave the name to the element which would be placed below aluminium as eka aluminium okay and the element which would, which would be placed below the silicon as eka silicon okay right and let me tell you let me show you that when those elements were discovered okay like like the eka aluminium okay when it was discovered okay it was given the name as gallium okay but when the properties were matched were were, were compared so mendeleev whatever properties he predicted okay are here in front of you the atomic weight 68 so what when when we found the element when we discovered the element its atomic weight was 70 very much close okay the density 5.9 it's 5.94 very close melting point low it's like 302.93 okay here it's kelvin okay so this means that it's roughly around not more than 30 degrees celsius okay it's lesser than 30 degrees celsius okay we are, we, we, you would definitely study how to convert the temperatures from kelvin to degree celsius i'm just i have just tell i have just means explained you here for simplicity okay it's less than like 30 degrees celsius it's like uh, roughly around to 29 degrees celsius or something like that okay so this is low right melting point 29 degrees celsius of an element it's very low okay the 29 degrees celsius can be attained at the room temperature as well okay we live in 29 degrees celsius correct okay so it's quite low as per the prediction it's right Form formula of its oxide so whenever the element which was which which would be discovered that would react with oxygen okay it would form this type of oxide which would have formula this e2o3 and when we discovered about the gallium's oxides formula oh it was also ga2o3 and the same thing for the chloride also okay was found okay the formula was exactly similar ecl3 to gacl3 okay and exactly something like that was also for the eka silicon and germanium 72 72.6 5.5 5.3 and so on okay so this was a very much huge breakthrough okay huge success of the mendeleev's periodic table chemists started to pay attention to mendeleev okay what he what he had done okay was like phenomenal for everyone so people started to recognize his periodic periodic table started to started to like pay attention to him and given him the credit of his method okay right so this was very huge success but but later on later on the second important merit was at the time of mendeleev inert gases were not discovered okay they were yet to be discovered but when the inert gases were discovered okay they could also be placed very much comfortably okay in the periodic table okay with a separate group itself okay without disturbing the arrangement of the other elements clear clear like you can see here these are the inert gases helium neon argon krypton xenon okay so if, if if at all you are not able to see since it's very very small okay no need to worry about it i have just read the names here okay so these are the elements names okay you can also refer to your textbook you would definitely find the zero group which is made later on later on when these elements were discovered and these were placed very much separately from the other elements so that so that their position would also not get disturbed and okay and the separate position of these group of elements was because of their different properties right right because they were completely having different properties than that of the other elements therefore they were placed separately in the other element. but 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 this placement of the elements okay in a group having similar properties okay this was the base of the mendeleev's arrangement of the periodic table and along with the along with this one more important thing that he placed he arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights but his the second most important criteria was the placement of the elements having similar properties in the same group which was followed for the inert gases and in the same case the separate group was created for the inert gases and that was the reason it didn't disturb the other elements okay other elements placement so these were all about the merits let's quickly go on and see what are the demerits so talking about demerits okay 
firstly we know the first criteria of the mendeleev periodic table was to arrange the elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights right and the next one was to arrange the elements in such a way that the elements should be placed in the same means elements having similar properties should be placed in the same group but sometimes in his periodic table mendeleev emphasized more on his second criteria which was placement of the elements having similar properties in the same group and what he did he emphasized more he gave more weightage to the second criteria and he neglected his first criteria at some instances that is the placement of the element in the increasing order of their atomic masses or atomic weights okay so neglection of this first criteria somewhere or the other place made the first demerit of the mendeleev's periodic table which is like anomalous pairs of the element now you can you can figure out but i will give you an exercise to you okay what you can do is okay not the entire table but you would tell me in this image okay in this picture if you were able to figure out okay if i have just made an enlarged picture here okay if you are not able to see it very much clearly okay you can increase the resolution as well or you can refer th the periodic table which is given in your textbook and tell me which are such instances where the elements should be placed according to the increasing order of their atomic weights but they are not placed according to this increasing order of the atomic weights okay just try to find out quickly quickly very quickly i'm i, I means like i'm not present here i'm not present to see you what you would answer me but i will definitely read your comments okay so that i would get to know you were like doing some things we had an interactive way okay of learning you also had some things okay which you found to find out right so yes moving ahead okay I, i hope you would have tried on your own you would have found out as well okay cheers so here this one this is the anomalous pair cobalt and nickel another one is tellurium and iodine right so i know already that's why i could quickly figure it out but since you are new you have to see here okay you didn't new so you have to see so now let's have a look see this is 58.93 okay cobalt's atomic weight is 58.93 nickel's atomic weight is 58.71 okay the the first criteria is to place the atomic to place the elements in the increasing order of the atomic weights so from 58.93 to 58.71 it is decreasing right so this is an anomalous pair but okay okay in the same way here tellurium and iodine here also 127.6 is the tellurium's atomic mass iodine's atomic mass is 126.9 okay i'm rewriting the atomic masses so that you could means it would be easy for you to relate okay if you are not able to see this numbers so 127.6 to 126.9 it's decreasing again okay so it should be the reverse order okay but now why did mendeleev did this see he wanted to place iodine deliberately in this group okay though its atomic weight was less than that of the tellurium because iodines okay properties were matching to that of the bromine chlorine and fluorine okay so he paid more attention at some instances to his second criteria okay which was actually the correct let me tell you okay we will see it ahead okay fine so demerits moving ahead to the next demerit is you will see the poor hydrogen this hydrogen elements position is like very much okay uh, debated upon why and at that time also mendeleev couldn't place hydrogen okay at one position because it was having properties similar to both alkali metals as well as halogens now what are these alkali metals and halogens okay you are not aware of this so let me tell you okay so you can see here in this table the this elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium these are the alkali metals okay and the halogens are just now we have seen fluorine chlorine bromine iodine okay so hydrogen was having properties similar to that of this alkali metals as well as this halogens but now the question was where to place hydrogen okay along with the alkali metals or along with the hydrogen okay 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 don't pay attention to this here which is the placement of hydrogen because mendeleev couldn't successfully place the hydrogen okay so this was the problem okay just just ignore your hydrogen it is written here okay don't pay attention to this because mendeleev i told you couldn't place hydrogen okay but just because of this confusion where to place them 
where to place it since it is having properties similar to both alkali metals as well as halogen okay if you would place it here then it would be injustice to halogens okay they would feel bad and if you would place it in place of, in here with the halogens alkali metals would feel bad right so what to do so because of this mendeleev couldn't place mendeleev couldn't give a solid position to hydrogen right okay so next demerit of mendeleev's periodic table is he means means in mendeleev's periodic table we couldn't give a like great position or we couldn't arrive at a conclusion to give the position to isotopes okay so what are isotopes we have already studied in the previous chapter the atoms of same element right atoms of same element but okay they are having same atomic numbers for example i am representing these are the atoms of same element okay for example element x now they are having same atomic numbers exactly same atomic numbers but different mass numbers okay now this are different suppose i am giving a1 a2 a3 okay for just representation purpose okay now we know we represent or we write the mass numbers just okay above and then the symbol and then below the atomic number so these are the atoms of same element having same atomic numbers but different mass numbers and now we know mass number means number of protons and neutrons so these atoms of same element are having different numbers okay different numbers of protons and neutrons okay so means this means that the sum of protons and neutrons are different for these atoms of same element so this means that the actual mass of the atom we all know is like concentrated in the nucleus because of the masses of protons and neutrons as we all know protons or we can say neutrons mass is almost roughly roughly like 2000 times greater than that of the electrons mass right so we say that the most of the mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus and since the sum of number of protons and neutrons differ in these atoms like this atom okay for example let's see carbon's isotopes okay so here the atomic number is 6 for all the atoms but the mass number varies from 12 13 to 14 now here what is what is happening okay the number of protons is exactly 6 here okay number of protons i'm writing it number of protons ex exactly 6 in all the atoms but the number of neutrons is varying okay here number of neutrons here it's 6 okay neutrons it's 6 but here the number of neutrons is 7 here the number of neutrons is 8 so in short these are the atoms of same element having different number of neutrons we can also say isotopes as this we can also means um, convey isotopes like simply the atoms of same element having different number of neutrons but the story is since they are having different number of neutrons they are having different masses right because one neutron extra in this atom and again one neutron more extra than this atom okay so though one neutron is extra but it has a considerable effect on the masses of the atom so this atom okay 13 6 13c6 carbon atom is like heavier than this 12c6 carbon atom and this 14c6 carbon atom is heavier than this 13c6 carbon atom so moral of the story i want to explain you is isotopes are having different masses okay though they are the atoms of same element but they have different masses okay different atomic masses okay because we are talking about atoms so different atomic masses now just try to recollect what mendeley was doing was he was arranging the elements okay atoms of the elements okay right but in the increasing order of the atomic masses so here now the question is there are some atoms of the same element which are having different atomic masses now what to do okay should we give the atoms of same elements okay having different atomic masses which means simply the isotopes different positions in the table because since they are having different atomic masses okay or shall we place them in the same position this was the question okay which arised when isotopes were discovered okay now we couldn't find we, we we cannot give a solid answer to this question because 
if we have if we are saying that let's give the atoms of the same element okay or let's give isotopes okay simply different positions okay but then this would contradict the the pattern of arrangement of the elements because we are giving the atom of that particular element the same position we don't give the atoms of that particular element different positions in this table so we cannot give isotopes different positions but again our pattern is to arrange the atoms of the different elements in the increasing order now since they are atoms of the same element okay increasing order of the atomic masses okay so now since they are atoms of the same element having different atomic masses so if we would give different positions okay uh, oh sorry if we would give same positions but that would also not like justify because they are having different atomic masses and how can we give the atoms having different atomic masses the same position right suppose for example carbon in case of carbon okay for example this 12 c6 carbon atoms atomic mass is 12 but 13 c6 13 c6 carbons atomic mass is 30 so how can i give the atoms okay the same position having like different atomic masses so that was also the that was also the question because then i need to specify that here the atomic mass is 12 13 as well as 14 but that was not sound but, but that but that approach wasn't like the practical approach or wasn't the perfect solution for this problem so that's the reason we couldn't place isotopes in this mendeleev's periodic table got it slightly complicated but i have tried to make it quite easy for you okay the moral is simply isotopes are having different atomic masses okay so now since they are having different atomic masses then where to place them okay we cannot give them the same position because they are having different atomic masses and if we give them different positions but there is again the problem because since they are atoms of same element so how we can give the atoms of same element different positions clear very clear chalo now the last demerit is since when we observed the atomic masses of the heavier elements for example you can see here from tungsten 183.85 is the atomic mass to osmium 190.2 so there was a huge gap there, is, there you can observe there is a huge gap between the atomic masses okay from 183 to 190 there is almost 7 units gap so though though there is a gap here present okay but we cannot def, we cannot say with the surety that only one element could be discovered later which can be placed between these two heavier elements because since the gap is like seven atomic masses there can be not only one but there can be two there can be three or maybe they can there can be four elements which could be discovered later and can be placed in between these two heavier elements so that was the ambiguity in the mendeleev's periodic table we cannot we cannot tell with that surety that how many elements could be discovered later which can be placed between these two heavier elements okay so this was the last demerit and that's it so uh, one one slight small thing heavier elements you may have a question in your mind that what what does the heavier elements means heavier elements simply means that those elements okay whose atoms are having very high atomic masses like here you can see tungsten 183.85 osmium is 190 okay so these atoms are the atoms of these elements are having very high atomic weights okay if you compare them with the atoms having very less atomic weights like for example initially like lithium at 6.9 very less atomic weight okay so you could you could observe the difference where where 183.85 atomic where 183.85 and where is like 22 24 6 9 and all those things okay so since they are having very high atomic weights so those elements are called as heavier elements one more interesting thing this table you can observe in your textbooks and all those things okay but the table which i have i have okay shown you here is slightly the newer version of mendeleev's periodic table which was published like in 1900s okay when noble gases were discovered and when noble gases were arranged in the existing mendeleev's periodic table so the existing mendeleev's periodic table was modified right and this is the modified mendeleev's periodic table which was like published around 1900s okay so don't get confused i have just shown you this for your understanding purpose that how the inert gases or how the noble gases were arranged without disturbing the other elements clear end of this video we have studied uh, like some major chunk of this we have studied like like important chunk of this chapter okay 
so almost half of the development of the periodic table and now we are like ready to jump to the modern periodic table okay but we would see the story of the rest of the story of formation of modern periodic table and what is modern periodic table okay how the elements are arranged in that all those things in the next video till then you keep studying okay stay safe and as you all know learn no matlab free paper best hai so stay in so so see you in the next video with the remaining concept of this chapter till then stay safe take care keep studying and have a great day